Okay, I am going to cut into these ball python eggs. I have six eggs I'm going to cut into. And the pairing was a vanilla enchi female with an orange dream fire enchi. So I'm going to start with this egg here and we're going to take a look. I'm just going to use some scissors and snip right off the top here. We're going to take a look inside. Let me snip off a little more of this shell. So you can see some pattern down in there. I don't see its head, but it is moving around just a little bit. It looks like a really nice pattern in there. I'm thinking this looks like it's going to end up being a super inchy. There's not a whole lot of dark to it at all. That looks really good. Little gooey, but looks really good. I'll put that one back. We're going to do this one here. Got some goo coming out. I've got another one with very little pattern. Let me see if I can snip a little more off this. Look how gooey and slimy this is. Got just the tail there. Don't see a head. You can see again, very little darkness on it. I'm hoping for some super enchi in this. This looks really good to get some super enchi out of this. Good odds at least. Let's keep going. These eggs got a little more dried out than I would have liked. I stopped halfway through the incubation and added more water. But they just dried up so much. That humidity in there being high is so important. And I usually get little heads sticking out. I got a little nose sticking up on this one right there. Just a little bit of the nose. Now this has quite a bit of normal looking pattern to it. You can see a lot more of the black pattern in there. But there's also like up in there some little flecks of dark. So it's going to be really interesting to see what these hatch out and look like. Got to keep drying off my hands. We'll go with the next one. Now before I started this video... I did cut into the very first egg. And I'm going to show you that at the end here. It's not how I wanted to start the video, so it's not how I'm going to. Ooh, look at the orange in that. It won't stay orange after it hatches, but I like it. You can see the tail right there just all curled up beautifully. That's really neat. Let's look at number five. Pinch that together and take a good snip off here. Another one that might have more of your typical pattern. It's moving around quite a bit in there. 
Probably not as easy to see the movement on the camera, but it is wiggling around in that egg. good grip on it now that is just a perfect looking inchy right there look at that inchy pattern that is what a typical inchy would look like okay let me dry my hands and I'm going to show you this one here that's just not right something totally wrong with it it's not fully developed but it's definitely alive look at that little tiny head little itty bitty body it's still got a lot of the yolk in there this thing did not develop right what I'm gonna try to do though I'm gonna try to close it up not on video, but I'm going to try to close this thing up and I'm going to see if I can't leave it in the incubator longer and get it to survive. Keep the humidity super high in there. And I'm going to see what happens. Don't have a lot of hope for it. It clearly didn't develop right, but it's developing right now with absolutely no pattern on it. So I'm going to see what happens. If it does hatch and survive, I'll definitely let you guys know. But as of right now, I've got six really good eggs, and as soon as they start popping out, I'll give you an update.